hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so here we have c cubed equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of c uh, and you see here this is the cubic equation it means that this equation has three roots so uh, here we will find all of these three roots and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is first we rearrange the terms and we move one from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as c cubed minus this is one equals to zero and here we again rewrite this equation as c cubed minus we write this one as one cubed and this whole equation equals to zero and we know that the cube of 1 is also equals to 1 okay uh, and now after this step we need to use here the nice cubic formula and you know about the cubic formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here we need to use this nice formula so according to this formula uh, we can just put the values of a and b here so you see that the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so we put these two values of a and b in this uh, equation so it will be written as c cubed minus one cubed equals to this is a minus b our a is c and b is 1 into we have a square so our a is c square plus a b again a is c and b is 1 plus b square so b is 1 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 okay so here our this cubic formula is implies in this way uh, so further in the next step we have uh, this equation is implies that here we need to divide this equation into the two cases uh, so the first case is uh, we can write c minus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we write c square plus c plus 1 equals to 0 so here we have uh, these two uh, cases in which we get the values of c so from first case we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and we easily get the value of c is equals to 1 so this is the our uh, first solution of the given equation and now here in order to find the other solutions we need to solve this quadratic equation so that in order to solve this quadratic equation first we need to write the coefficients of this equation so in order to write the coefficients of this equation it will be written as capital a is equals to 1 capital b is also equals to 1 and capital c is also equals to 1 so these are the three coefficients of the given equation and now here further in the next step we need to state the quadratic formula in the form of capital a b and c so uh, we state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a so this is the over quadratic formula and now we need to put the values of a b and c in this formula so after substituting the values it will be written as first we put the value of b it is 1 it will be written as c equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of b square so our b is 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 1 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also equals to 1 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as c is equals to this is minus 1 plus minus uh, square root of 1 square and 1 square equals to 1 
minus 4 times of 1 is equals to 4 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and now here in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications and it will be written as minus 1 plus minus square root of this is 1 minus 4 is equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2 and now you see or now you focus on this term here you see that the negative sign appears inside the square root uh, so first we can write uh, the square root separately on both of these values and it will be written as minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So this is the our uh, uh, here we can just tap the square root and here we already know about that square root of minus 1 is equals to iota so that we replace this minus 1 square root equals to iota and it will be written as minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the other two complex values of c and uh, finally here uh, we uh, uh, here first we need to break uh, this fraction and it will be written as minus 1 over 2 plus minus uh, square root of 3 over 2 into iota so this is the values of c and finally we have the three roots of the given equation are the first root is c1 equals to 1 this is the our first real root and the second root is c2 equals to minus 1 over 2 here we choose a positive value it is a square root of 3 into iota and our third root of the given equation is c3 equals to minus 1 over 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 into iota so these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos